Dear Mrs. Kerman, it is with regret that I must inform you that your daughter Valentina passed away during a accident involving her spaceship, the Science One. As my engineers have informed me, the Science One experienced a catastrophic parachute failure, resulting in a giant explosion. If it is any consolation, my scientists inform me that the Given the size of the explosion, death would have been instantaneous and, I quote, probably painless. My condolences on your loss. Okay, so, obviously that last mission didn't quite go to plan. I had a look at the, uh, the telemetry and all the data from the flight and... I am correct in my belief that the indicators were all green for parachute deployment at the top of the flight. That was not my mistake. No, what happened was uh, seemingly at around 3,000 meters above sea level, the parachute just kind of ripped away and the whole thing just plummeted the remaining three kilometers. So... Yeah, best guess, too much weight. Uh, so we're going to have to modify the science one. Sorry, the science one. So this. Move that up. So yeah, apparently that is too much weight. Damn. Uh, oh, hold on, before I get too carried away with this, I think I did actually complete my mission, my contract, yeah, I completed my contract to test the decoupler, so that's something at least, and I did get some world first milestones out of that failure, so that's something I suppose. Formed an EVA test at home, broke a speed record of 250 meters per second, Broke an altitude record of 2,000 meters, and then another altitude record of 7,000 meters. So, yay! Go me! Wasn't a complete waste of time. So, yeah, let's go to Mission Control and see if we can't get another contract going. Uh, test the decoupler splashed down. Okay. Interesting one. All the Mark 16 parachute into Flight. Oh, this might be doable. Uh, yeah, they want me to go... Oh, but I'll probably be going too fast by then, wouldn't I? <laughs> However, on the way back down... Maybe... Or I could possibly slow it down as I'm reaching the relative relevant altitude. Switch the engine off for a moment, let it slow down, get the get the contract and then fire it up again. Yeah, yeah I think that could work. Gets us a bit more science and some more money which is always nice. Or we could get the swivel into flight. What does that one? Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's a bit higher than I was capable of going last time, so let's not worry about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this whole the Mark 16 parachute into flight is doable. Just need to throttle down once I hit 11,000 meters. And let my speed drop. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we can adjust... The science one. So, as I said, oh, don't need, oh, hang on. don't need that anymore. That test is done. So, obviously that's too much weight. There's nothing on the uh, information about the parachute that tells me how much weight it can handle. Unless it's here. Max safe deploy speed, semi deploy effective diameter, 
full deploy diameter, full deployment altitude, semi deployment minimum pressure. Yeah, nothing about how much weight it can safely attempt to bring back. So. Okay, right mouse button isn't getting rid of this now. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so, I'm guessing that what I'm going to need is a lot less weight. So, let's go and get my decoupler again. And let's take you off and put a decoupler in here. There we go. That way, I'm only bringing back this capsule and all the science. And we know for a fact that the the parachute can handle the capsule and a flea. So I'm guessing that the weight of these science experiments isn't going to be more than the weight of a flea solid rocket booster. Actually, out of curiosity, what's the mass of this? 1.5 tons. That's 1.5 tons as well, so it's basically the mass of the fuel tanks and the science that was pushing us over. So these are about half a ton each, so that's an extra ton there. And then those are, well that's negligible. That's pretty much negligible as well. So, yeah, it's, I think it's the fuel tanks that did it. Anyway, this is the uh, advanced and improved Science 2 that we shall be sending into space. Nah, not into space, but into the lower atmosphere. Middle atmosphere? I, I don't know. I don't know where lower ends, upper end begins, but we'll be sending it up. And we need a pilot. Oh, Jebediah's already volunteered his services. Good. Not in the slightest bit concerned about the untimely demise of the previous pilot. Good to see, Jebediah. Okay, let's go ahead and launch this bad boy and get that glorious science! Because I have absolutely no doubt that this time around... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Do not want to decouple the rockets as I fire the booster. That would be stupid. Okay. First things first, let's get some science. Observe that mystery goo. Doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Fair enough. Look the temperature. Quite literally nominal. Good to see that that's the same as it was last time. That's what we like to see. That's that's how science works. If you can repeat the experiments and get the same result, then it means that you're doing it right. Okay, let's get the crew report. Dom. And let's go on an EVA. Here we go. EVA report. Yep. Sassy as always. Now let's take the data from the thermometer. Take the data from the command pod. And let's board back in. Okay. I think we are ready to fly. Throttle up. Uh, there we go. And three, two, one, launch! There we go. Let's get another crew report. Whoa! I forgot the SAS! Oh, that was bad, that was bad. Um, point yourself up, please. There we go. Whew. Okay, I'm not going to reach my desired altitude, but that's fine. Let's uh, do this and observe the mystery goo. And 
and get the temperature. There we go. The main thing about this was to get the science. So the fact that, oh, there goes my rocket going down, 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 down. Oh, oh is that my rocket? No, that's my rocket, that's me. Okay, and shoot fully deploys, there we are. Speed is down to a safe level. And let's do an EVA. Cannot disembark while off Kerbin's surface. Astronaut complex upgrade required. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna need to upgrade my astronaut complex if I want to get EVA reports in flight. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and accelerate time to bring Jebediah back home. Here we go, coming down. And oh. now let's EVA. I don't know if I got a re EVA report from over here. Maybe. Let's go ahead and actually get down. Uh, there we go. Wee! I can run around, which is always fun. Right, EVA report. Ah, I have not got an EVA report from here. So let's go ahead and keep that experiment. I can deploy his chute if I want, which is ridiculous. Uh, we deploy the chute. Wee! <laughs> that was totally pointless. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's uh, get back in. Okay, grab and board. There we go. And recover vessel. Yes! We have all that glorious science! The science too was a huge success. Then again, compared to the performance of the science one, that wasn't exactly difficult. No XP gain. That's unfortunate, but what can you do? Okay, so apparently I need to upgrade my astronaut complex in order to get EVAs in flight, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, Kerbal's on EVA can place flags as well. Ooh, always nice. Boom. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I need to start actually doing my missions. What are my contracts? Gather scientific data from Kerbin. I've done that, haven't I? G goal. Oh. I need to actually just collect it. There we go. Boom. Boom. And I have returned to the surface. That's the first, apparently. Performed the first one of our experiments at home as well. Okay, there we go. Why is that still saying? Uh -huh. I need to achieve the goal. Uh, I guess I've already done it. Okay. So, next thing on the list is to try and escape the atmosphere and go into space! Administration says that legally we cannot call ourselves a space program without actually going to space. Hmm, good point. Let's go ahead and grab that. Reach the atmosphere by flying a vessel to an altitude of 70,000 meters. Ooh. Okay. That means we're going to have to go significantly higher. Which means I am going to need a better rocket. But first things first, I have science. So let's go ahead and spend some of that. What options have we got? We have got General Rocketry, gets me a Reliant liquid fuel engine, a Thumper solid fuel booster, and the FLT-200 fuel tank. 
which, uh, if my understanding is correct, is basically two of these FLT-100s strapped together. But, you know, that's kind of handy stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Stability, aerodynamic nose cones, winglets, and radial decouplers. Ooh. Or survivability. That sounds good. Let's try that one, maybe. What have we got here? Heat shields. Those sound like useful things to have when coming back home from space. Let's, yeah, let's have those. Press map barometer, that's more science! Radiator panel, blinding strut, radial mount drogue chute, so that allows me to have more parachutes, potentially useful. Radial mount parachute, hmm, what's the difference between a drogue and a regular one then? Our sized radial mount version of the Mark 25. I don't have a Mark 25 to compare. Drogue parachute is small, deploys high up, and certainly not enough to stop you smashing into the ground on its own. But useful for slowing the craft down before the deployment of your main chutes. This parachute is comparable to the Mark 16, but placed on radially instead of attached to the top, which means I can put on more than one. And I also get a service bay. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's grab that for a start. And then... I should probably get some stability, shouldn't I? I really should. Yeah, I can't afford general rocketry right now. So let's go ahead and grab stability. That gets me the radial decoupler, which is a useful thing to have. And the winglet, which is very nice, I think. I hope. And the aerodynamic nose cone, which could be useful later on. Okay. We have to try to get out of the atmosphere. We also need to try and be flying at an altitude of... 11,000 to 1,500 meters at a speed of 20 meters to, per second to 100 meters per second. So let's try and remember that one again. 11,000, we'll want to slow down. Briefly. Hmm. I would have much rather completed that one on the previous mission because, frankly, slowing down when you're trying to get into space is not the ideal strategy. Uh, actually, let's do it like this. And then I can, if I remember correctly, if I control click, no, alt click, there we go. Let's strap a whole bunch more fuel into this. There we go. That should hopefully be enough to get me to space. Two fuel tanks got me to about 17,000. So logically, three times that much would get me three times as high. Which is, if I can do maths. I cannot do maths. That's about 50,000. That's not high enough. Okay, let's, let's go higher. There we go. That should do it. Bearing in mind, of course, that as you go higher, your engine becomes more efficient. So yeah, that should do it. Now, let's have some winglets. Do I really need four? Could I get away with three? Keeps the weight and the cost of the craft down if I only use three. So let's try and only use three. I mean, that works for darts, right? So why shouldn't it work for my craft? Okay, so 
Oh, I need to add on my new science. A pressed mat barometer. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, I don't need more than one of these. Let's go ahead and stick this bad boy on underneath the thermometer. There we go. Now, do I need two goo canisters? For balance sake, yes I do. So, sticking with those. Okay. Now, as much as I have all this science on it, this one is not for science. This one is the space! What? No, there we go. Space one. starting to look a little bit like a rocket, don't you think? Hey, how about that? I think that one looks like a rocket, don't you? Okay. SAS on this time. Now we just want to breach the atmosphere, that's all we're trying to do here, so again we just want to go straight up. Max the throttle. Three, two, one. One launch! And remember, I am going to have to throttle down at around 11,000 meters in order to achieve this goal. There we go, that's pinned it. We are flying. Okay, uh, let's throttle off. Get the speed down. And I've already gone too high. Okay. Max the throttle again then. Let's at least get into space. Ooh, we are getting hot. But I think we might just get out of atmosphere, maybe? Well, that's all my all my juice. Let's find out. Map. What's my apoapsis? Oh, definitely. Wow. We are definitely making it into space on this bad boy. In fact, what I want to do now is actually set a stage up there. So let's get rid of all that mass. Don't need that for now. And we are in space, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and do some space science. Observe the mystery goo. The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. That's interesting. What's the temperature in space? Collected and recorded temperature data from the environment. Okay. Well, spoiler alert, it's cold. Uh, what's the pres atmospheric pressure in space? The instruments read zero, it's as if it were in a vacuum. <laughs> Who'd have predicted that? Okay, I have more than made it to space with this. <laughs> wow, I think I overdid it. Okay, crew report. 
seems very much we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Good to know. Uh, let's do an EVA. EVA report. We recorded our observations about the situation. Okay, let's go ahead and take the data out of that. Take the data out of that. out of that and let's go and head and reboard there we go okay now all we have to do is come back down which hmm, could take a little while let's just say oh that's not what I wanted to do there we go let's just say that uh, ooh, oh god I just remembered oh no why is the SAS off? There we go. That's why I'm spinning wildly. Uh, yeah, what I just remembered. I might have forgotten to put the heat shield on. Oops. Um. Viewers of a nervous disposition might want to look away. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and time warp until we actually, you know, stop going up. That's usually a good thing. Uh, and we are going down now. Okay, we are definitely going down. Um, let's uh, warp a little bit faster until we get to the atmosphere. Uh, Jeopardy is loving this. He might not be in a minute, though. Oh dear. <laughs> and here comes the atmosphere. Okay, um. Well. Pray for Jebediah, ladies and gentlemen. Pray for Jebediah. That said, we are. Not. But. Oh, here we go. Here comes the burning. getting hot here we are getting hot uh, yep my my experiments are blowing up oh oh but we are we are through the heat okay we have made it through the heat now all we have to do is slow down enough hopefully that our parachute can fire yes parachute fires he's gonna make it he's actually gonna make it and of course the goo canister that blew up was the one that had my space science in it uh, I could get a little bit of science from doing that again. Or I can get the pressure data at least. There we go. And might be able to get a new EVA from all the way over here. Quite a distance away from Kerbal Space Center. It's, uh, it's over there somewhere, I think. <laughs> Oh, my speed's definitely slow enough now, but uh, <laughs> altitude is all wrong. Okay, let's EVA and see if this is a new one. It is a new one! Okay, let's get back in. Actually, no, let's uh, take the data from here. Log temperature? Oh, no, can't do that externally. Okay, take the data, get back in. Look, temperature is this new temperature? It is. There we go. Okay, well, let's go ahead and bring Jebediah down to the ground. I got away with it. If I'd had a heat shield, I might even have brought back my science. But the important thing is, we are all in one piece. Do a quick EVA again and. Take the data from the thermometer. Board. And now I'm landed. I might be able to get new thermometer temperatures. Yes. And possibly even a new pressure data. Yes. Oh yes, all the data. And I suspect 
Oh, actually, no. Yeah, I can do that when I get back in. I suspect I can get a new EVA report. Yes! Okay, and let's go ahead and get back in and get a crew report. Yep, there we go. Okay, science! That wasn't the primary objective of this flight, but we did it anyway. Recover the vessel. Could have been worse. I lost my space goo. But other than that, it was a good amount of science I brought back. 91, in fact. <laughs> wow! That's a lot of science. Okay. There we go. So, that was a much more successful episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay bad.